Hey DQ, I'm a high beast. It's, it's GQ or GQ. Oh, my bad. Hey DQ, I'm a high beast. DQ. And these are my essentials. This episode of DQ Essentials is sponsored by ShopTagger, the best app and Chrome extension to save money online shopping and never miss a price drop or a coupon code ever again. Check the link in the description. Thank you so much. All right, so my first essential is a pose. Dude, you gotta have a good pose. For Instagram, for pictures, you just need a pose to tell a story. It matters. So your essential is a pose. Yeah, it's essential to being a hype beast. Like, you need this. Uh, so I, I get it, okay. What are some of your favorite poses? Uh, oh, well, funny you should ask. Okay, so this first one's probably one of my favorites. This one's called the big sad. You gotta do one of these, like you're, like you're, like you're covering your face, you know? It's like, you know, I'm just like suffering from success, you know? Shout out to DJ Khaled, that's my boy. Oh, oh you, know? you know DJ Khaled? No, I don't, I don't know. This next pose I got, it's like leaning back. I call this one a matrix because it's like, yo, you gotta dodge the haters and stuff. And also it's like, I'm relaxed too, but also I'm stressed because the haters, but I'm also relaxed, like I don't care. So you're suffering and- Suffering from success. And this next one, do you hear that? Do you hear that? Oh, I hear it. Hello, hello? This is my next, I call this the 911. Emergency, I'm dripping too hard. Hello? So you, you just take off- It's like it's a phone, but it's not a phone. But, but, but that's the point. But you have a phone. Yeah, but this is also not a phone. So that's the funny, the funny part is it's not a phone. But yeah, that's my first essential, poses. Gotta keep yourself different from the gram. I don't think I've seen anyone look like me ever. I think these poses are unique. And yeah, man, changing changing the game. Oh, hello, DQ. Oh yeah, while we're on the, while we're on the topic of phones, my next essential, my iPhone, the new one, the 12 Pro Max. It's the huge one. You know what they say about people with big phones? What? Oh, I don't know. I got a Supreme sticker on it, though. What? That's crazy. Wait, wait, how do you even look at your phone? 12 Pro Max. This camera is crazy. It's great for taking pictures of my Jordans. And uh, also, it's like, since the screen is so big, it's like, it's great for optimizing the sneakers app, too. So that when I'm like on the sneakers app catching L's, it's clear as day, because this screen is Huge. But yeah, when I get denied on the sneakers app, I just switch the app straight to Tinder where I also get denied. Also, lowballing on Grailed and Bump has never been easier than ever because of the keyboard is huge on this thing. So I can, it's easier to type a bunch of bullshit to these sellers. Where, are, are there any apps that don't damage your mental health? Oh uh, yeah, I got the calculator app. I use that one to calculate resale when I'm selling stuff. Oh, I also got the shop tagger app. I use that one for online shopping all the time. That one's actually good. That one doesn't give me trust issues. Wait, what's shop tagger? Oh, funny you should ask. Shop is the best way to save money online shopping. It's absolutely free. Uh, you don't gotta calculate resale on that one. It's just a download away on the app store or click away for the browser extension. But when you install the app, when you go online shopping, you'll get this blue boy right here. Bam, you can click that on an item that you like and then you can you have all these parameters. You can save it in a certain size depending on your bones and your parents. And also Shop Tagger will notify you via email or push notification when an item comes back in stock after it's sold out or if an item goes on sale. And then right here, as you can see, there's parameters. I just click any price change uh, because I'll take whatever I can get at this point. My favorite feature up next, the list feature where you can save an item in a specific list depending on a look that you're going for. So like I have all these lists depending on whatever aesthetic I wanna look at. So you get a good visual and you can see what the items will look like paired together before buying it. And that just saves you money so that you don't buy something that doesn't look good. I've recently just been saving a bunch of stuff for home decoration. So I have a whole list for that because I just bought a new studio. So I'm trying to decorate it and I just want to look good. And also that just shows that you can use ShopTagger for not just clothes. I've been using it for home decor. And right here I'm on mobile. I have the app like I just talked about where I can go through my lists right here. I saw this cool skateboard deck that I want to hang on my wall. It went on sale for Cyber Monday. ShopTagger notified me, bam, hit the button, transfer me straight to end clothing where it is on sale. Good to go, bam, 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 save your money. Shop Tagger, thank you for saving me money in the middle of a pandemic, that's crazy. Shop Tagger is a must have for all the stuff coming up. So mark your calendars, people. Also, Shop Tagger will search the web for coupons, as you can see, so you know you're getting the best deal every single time, no buyer's remorse. And look at that, it automatically applies the coupon when you check out, thank you, sir. And also, if you see right here, that's the cash back feature on a partnered site. Just hit it, bam, you'll be good to go for cash back depending on what you buy and you're good to go. So go click the link in the description right here 
and then put in your information, go sign up. Just install the browser extension. I use Chrome because Chrome's the best one. Chrome's the best one, right? I hate this one. Put the green screen back up. And uh, yeah, so I use that. And then download the app on your phone and bam, you'll be good to go. It's absolutely free. Go save money online shopping now. Thank you Shop Tagger for sponsoring this video. DQ, third essential, Shop Tagger. GQ! No! All right, DQ, fourth essential. GQ. We got the Jordan 1s, one of my favorite shoes of all time. I love all the Jordans if I'm being completely honest. As you can see right here, I got the Jordan 1s. As you can see right here, I got the Jordan 1s. As you can see right here, I got the Jordan 1s. I love all the Jordans. Jordan's first collaboration with Nike. Um, think about it now, that's why it's called the Jordan 1. Wait, what about the other Jordans? You said you liked all of them. Yeah, this is a... Uh... This is all of them. I mean, I don't have like every single color. I mean, that's kind of a lot, but I do want to get the Jordan 1 top three, which is like three colorways in one. So that covers a lot of ground. But yeah, I love all the Jordans. Jordan 1, first shoe that Jordan had with Nike. This is the first shoe of all time. Do you play basketball? Play basketball in Jordans? Nah, they get beat up. Why would anyone play basketball in Jordans? They would get beat up. That's crazy. Anyways, basketball. fourth essential DQ, the Jordan GQ. 1. All right, DQ, fifth essential. GQ. We got the Nike GQ. Dunk. We got the Nike Dunk. This is my, uh, this is like my essential for when I'm like trying to switch it up, but also trying to low key flex, trying to, trying to like wear them and give them the side eye, like the Drewski too funny one of those. You know what I mean? And, uh, but yeah, this is kind of a different shoe, just to totally switch it up from the Jordan 1s, you know? They look pretty similar though, don't you think? Nah, nah, they're, they're completely different, you know? This one, this one's like, um, this one's like, Shorter. This is the Ben and Jerry's collab. Uh, historic collab, honestly. Everyone knows Ben and Jerry's ice cream, you know? DQ, ice cream. Wait, no, That's correct. This is GQ. DQ ice cream. So, and also, it's like everyone knows Ben and Jerry, the founder of Ben and Jerry's. But yeah, honestly, history, you just kind of got, sometimes you just got to educate yourself on history before you get into something. It's, it's always great. So, so do you skate though? Do I skate in dunks? Yeah. Why would I skate in dunks? They would get beat up. But yeah, DQ, fifth essential, Nike dunks. DQ. DQ, ice cream. All right, DQ, so for my sixth GQ. essential. GQ. GQ? GQ. All right, DQ, so for my sixth essential, we got inspiration. So everybody needs to be inspired. I love being inspired, you know. Who are some of your inspirations? Um, well, Virgil Abloh is kind of easy, you know, I feel like everyone has that as their inspiration. So I kind of like to go off the beaten path. So I kind of find inspiration from people like ASAP Rocky, Lil Uzi, Playboy Cardi, you know? Those are some of the biggest names out there. Well, yeah, in music, not in fashion. So that's where I'm like, I'm different because I'm inspired by artists not designers, so I think that's changing the game. You might not understand, but I do. Sixth essential is inspiration. All right, HQ, for my seventh- For the last time, it's DQ. Oh. Wait, no. Okay, sorry. Okay, DQ, oh. for my seventh essential, it is going to be my entry level Rick. I mean, it's, I mean, regular Rick, not entry level, that's crazy. But yeah, these are my favorites, kind of an essential, kind of low key, if I'm being honest, nobody knows about these. Yeah, you know, Rick, one of my favorite slept on artists, to be honest, I'm so happy that ASAP and Playboy Cardi are putting him back on. What do you like about Rick? Just kind of how clean things are. Like, it's such a simple silhouette, you know? It's like kind of clean, you know? And just, just I can wear these with everything. And I don't know, man, Rick is just like one of my favorite shoe brands, Rick Owens. I think more people should hop on Rick. It's like a great shoe brand. And people think these are Converse or whatever, but they're wrong. These are designer, I think. I think they're designer. But yeah, they're uh, Rick Owens, one of my favorites. Uh, DQ, my seventh essential is Rick Owens. GQ! All right, DQ, so for my- F For my eighth essential, we got Chrome Hearts. My Chrome Hearts rings, these mean so much to me. Man, they kind of speak for me a lot. This one right here, it says forever. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's just like a metaphor for, I don't know, but it's a metaphor. This one says F you, so that's kind of nuts. What does this say? Uh, f you. F you? Yeah, no, it says f you. No, f me? Yeah, f 
you. No, no, f you. No, what the? No, f you. That's what the? F you. That's what the? F but yeah, these just really mean a lot to me. Um, I really just like wear them all the time. They kind of go with everything. And um, also, Jesus died on the cross. Chrome Hearts likes to rep the cross. So praise be to the Most High, Chrome Hearts. Uh, HQ, my uh, seventh, are we on seven? My seventh essential is Chrome Hearts. All right, GQ for my ninth essential. Yes! Thank you. Okay, for my DQ ninth essential, no! We got the fanny pack. I think everybody needs just some sort of bag on it. Look, I even got hand sanitizer because of this pandy, man. You don't want to catch the Rona when you're trying to catch the drip. So uh, it's Prada because she Prada me. And that, that's just how it is. Let's just get into it. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, speaking of the Rona, speaking of the pandy, got a mask in here. You just need it to protect yourself, you know? You need to be a good citizen wearing a mask. Shouts out to Fauci, that's my boy. And in the second pocket, we got, oh, my wallet. This is a good bit, so. My wallet, I got my credit card that my parents were like, only use for emergencies. Hey, what's those, what's those numbers say on the, on the front? Says, uh, says, you. That's crazy. No, that's crazy. My mom's like, only use it for emergencies. But I'm like, mom, what's more serious than drip? So call my Stalin Among Us lot because every time something drops, I'm like, ah, emergency meeting, gotta get that drip. Ah, emergency meeting, gotta get that drip. That's crazy. So I got a credit card for emergencies, but drip's an emergency. So it's pretty much every day. Running through the six with my one. Next, we got AirPods Pros. Pros, because I'm procrastinating. Also, I'm uh, socially awkward. So I need these. And uh, in this big one, oh, we got my water bottle, which is a uh, crazy, works 100%. Is that fake Supreme? No, that's a real Supreme bottle. The, the clearly fake sticker. No, no, this is a real Supreme bottle, look. See? Why did you have the sticker on there? Because it's Supreme. But there's a sticker on there. You didn't yeah, because it's Supreme. But there's a sticker, it didn't need to be on there. Yeah, but it's supreme. All right, DQ, so for my ninth essential, it's the fanny pack. For the last time, it's GQ. Oh, well, what about how GQ, how about this? Fuck you, how about that? How about All right, GQ, so for my last essential. It's DQ. It's DQ. All right, DQ, so for my last essential, it's gonna be my most important one, which is my parents. Um, there they are. Um, I love them to death. Uh, they've done so much for me, and I think everybody should get a couple of parents, you know? They're, so they're essential. So I guess you talk to them every day. Um, well, I try to, but it's mainly just once a week, you know, every Thursday morning, but we get a lot done. Wait, wait, you know? why Thursday specifically? Um, wow, that's a good question. Why, why does Supreme drop on Thursdays? Does anyone, do you guys know? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know why Thursday, but I kind of just like, I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, I got to call my mom. I'm like, oh, mom, Stone Island Supreme's dropping. Gonna need that ah, among us emergency. That's crazy. When I was a kid, my mom did a lot of the heavy lifting. It was great because my dad was in the military. You got to get the bread somehow. And my, my mom would drop me off to school every day, help me out with my homework. So I'm super thankful for her. And honestly, I wouldn't be the character I am now if I wasn't raised by such a great mom. But my dad also did get stationed at a bunch of countries with like Supreme stores. And it was kind of like, yeah, my dad got this for me at the Bay Harajuku store. It was an exclusive, that's crazy. Um, if you had to pick one favorite parent, who should you pick? Um, Your mom, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, DQ, well, those are my yeah. tennis. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. DQ, yeah. DQ. Yeah. Those were my 10 essentials. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, comment more people that you want to see on the DQ 10 essentials list because it's crazy. There's so many essentials to go around. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at ChristianVY and, uh, for, the, for the most questionable character arc. JK underscore Wiling on Twitter for the hottest takes on the internet. Thank you to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. I. Uh, Go get Shop Tagger now. Um, download it and install the browser extension. Everything will be in the description. They're the best way to save money online shopping. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And also, yeah, um, thank you for tuning in. This was fun filming. Twice. Oh my God, you guys, you guys have no idea. Thank you for watching the video. That was crazy.